Hi everyone, welcome to this new video and in this video I am going to show you how you can run a local Kubernetes cluster and to run a Kubernetes cluster in this video I am going to use docker desktop for running a Kubernetes cluster and we are also going to use a utility called kind which is Kubernetes in docker and we will see how to run a Kubernetes cluster with the help of a docker desktop. So first uh, the prerequisite for this particular tutorial would be that you need to have docker desktop running on your machine and if you don't have it then you can install it from the docker uh, official website so here there is a link from where you can install the docker desktop according to your os so if you are running on windows you can install it for windows if you are running mac and if you are running linux again you can install it for your uh, operating system now in my case I already have docker desktop running so this is my docker desktop uh, that is already running and I already uh, I already have uh, kind installed so I can show you the kind utility as well so kind basically allows us to run uh, Kubernetes cluster with the help of docker containers so you can read more about the kind here like kind is a tool for running Kubernetes cluster using docker containers and uh, the installation is very straightforward there is a command that you can run you can simply run uh, this particular command this is going to install the kind on your machine and then once you have the kind cli then you can use that cli to create a kubernetes cluster now in my case i already have the kind uh, cli installed i can show you so here i'm my docker desktop and i can open up and i can open a terminal from here directly and if i show you uh, if i do kind hyphen hyphen help uh, you can see that the kind cli is already installed on my machine now kind has various commands that are available using which we can manage our Kubernetes cluster and in our case we are going to use a command called kind create and this command helps us in creating a Kubernetes cluster now i already have the kubernetes or the kind uh, docker images already available on machine so if i go to the images from here here we you can see that i have a image called kind slash node version 1.31.1 which means that this is the kubernetes image for kubernetes version 1.31 similarly if you want to run any other version of kubernetes on your machine like locally you can get the respective image from the docker hub so let's go to docker hub And from here we can search for the respective image uh, that we want to run so in our case uh, since i already have the image but if you want to run uh, let's say some different version of kubernetes then you can go to tags here and from tags you can just pull the uh, respective image so they are uh, all the versions available okay so now uh, let's head back to the docker desktop and from here i'm going to create a kubernetes cluster locally with the help of kind so i want to run the kubernetes version 1.31 so what i'll do i'll just run this command kind create a cluster now i have to give the image like which image or which version should i uh, use in order to create the kubernetes cluster and in this case i'm using version 1.31 so here you can see the image as well the image tag now once i run this this is going to go ahead and create a kubernetes cluster for me locally so here you can see it is doing all the prerequisites and it is starting up the control plane node and uh, this is going to start a one node uh, kubernetes cluster where there will be going to be one node only but if you want to have multiple nodes then you can always find that in the official docs like how in the kind official docs how you can run multiple uh, nodes so i guess there was a there is a section called configuration where you can specify multiple nodes so here you can see that using this particular specification you can specify how many nodes you want so in this case uh, if, you, if you see this particular example here we are going to spin up four nodes and out of four nodes one is going to be the control plane node and rest three of them will be going to be the worker node so it's going to be a four node kubernetes cluster if you follow this particular specification all right uh, so if we head back to the docker desktop here we can see that the uh, the kubernetes cluster is ready and if i go to the containers here you can see that we have a one node 
or a one container that is running and which is running on version uh, 1.3. Once is this is the uh, image tag basically. Now if I do kubectl get nodes, so here we should be able to see that there is a one node and that's the control plane node only but if you want to run multiple nodes like i mentioned here if you want to run multiple nodes then you can use this configuration and you can pass it as a config parameter so in the kind uh, create command you can pass uh, the config parameter and uh, uh, using that uh, it's going to spin up the kubernetes cluster with that particular configuration so basically you have to pass this particular parameter if you want to use a custom configuration all right, so Kubernetes cluster is ready. Now, if I do kube cutl get uh, namespace, we should be able to see some default namespaces. Now, let's try to run a, a, a Nginx application so that we can validate whether the cluster is running fine or not. So, what I'll do, I'll just run the kube cutl uh, create command, create deployment, and I'm going to use the nginx image and the name of the deployment is going to be nginx now if i just see the deployment if we see the deployments here we can see that there is a deployment uh, which is uh, available in the cluster and if i do kubectl get pods So here we can see that the Nginx pod is running successfully, which means that our Kubernetes cluster is up and running, and uh, we are and we are running the Kubernetes locally with the help of Docker. So we are running the Kubernetes in Docker and with the help of Kind utility. So this was it for this video. So hope you like this video, and if you like this video, then please like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.